It was great winning the national championship, but the proudest and happiest moment of my life is as I stand here before you right now. And you got a guy like Jim Valvano, who's the coach, uh, and at that point was one of us. He wasn't the coach and we were the players, he was just one of us. We were on a magical mystery tour together and uh, it didn't matter who we played, we were gonna win. Once you walk in this gym, I mean, you get flashbacks. You look at the court and I remember against Carolina on a fast break, it was Sydney and myself and Sam Perkins. Sydney bounced the ball through his legs, passed behind Sam Perkins, and I grabbed it and dunked it. I mean, all those those things come back. I mean, all those memories are, uh, are very clear to me. And uh, you, know, you walk, even before you walk in the door, you stand outside and you look at Reynolds Coliseum and you say, this is it, this is where it happened. No matter where those guys are, where I am in my life, my career, they'll always be a part of my family. You know, we're part of history. You know, we'll always be a part of history. And I don't think, I, I just, not just because I was a part of it for some reason, I just think that there won't ever be, or there has never been, an NCAA championship game or series like the one that we went through. The trek that we went through was just, I think it's unmatchable. You know, you talk about dreaming and you talk about team of destiny, never giving up, and they, it sounds trite. It's used so much in chemistry and the whole thing, and courage to fight adversity. Those were all things that were very real and, and were alive every day in the locker room and every day on the court with that team because the people who made up the team and the coaching staff. and. Uh, most people have those ideals, but uh, maybe never experienced them or are around a group of people uh, who live those every day. And I was fortunate enough to be a part of that, and that's something that will always stay with me. This team and what we accomplished and what we went through was very special. And like a family, it's special. And family is for life, so this team, what it went through, should be for life. What people don't understand is that V had made us believe we could beat anybody. And what people also didn't understand is that we had played everybody. We had played the number one team that year about four or five times. We had just beaten a great North Carolina team, great Virginia team for the ACC tournament. We played Louisville earlier. We played in one of the best conferences in the country, the ACC. There was nobody we feared. There was nobody we thought that was going to be better than us. So we, we took that approach, and V made us believe that approach that, hey, there was nobody out there we couldn't beat. Here's the plan. And we said, okay, let's go with it. We had to win the ACC tournament to go to the NCAA uh, big dance, as they say. And uh, I don't think we ever really thought about it, though. I think it, that team had an incredible amount of belief in itself, and it came from the, the top down. It came from Jim Valvano. And uh, even when Wittenberg got hurt, we were 9-7 and seven at one point. I really don't believe anybody gave up. Number one, number two in the country. You had Ralph Sampson, and then you had uh, Michael Jordan on the next, uh, the next day, or actually reverse. But uh, we knew once, we got Derek Wittenberg back before the tournament and blew Wake out of the gym here in Reynolds Coliseum. We had to play them the first game of the ACC tournament, ended up barely squeaking by. We probably shouldn't have won that game. Sidney Lowe came up with a big steal, and uh, they had the last possession. And uh, we won there. That's when the whole destiny thing started, just kind of as a joke, as a whim. And then we win against Carolina. We start to believe it a little bit. Then we beat Ralph Sampson and Virginia, win an ACC championship. Nobody thinks we can do it. And we, we go back in the locker room, kind of raise eyebrows, and say, maybe this destiny thing uh, has something to it. And from then on, it was just a ride. We just rode it, rode the crest from then on and believed the destiny thing. I think we started the trend. We started. We instilled something in, in a lot of people in America, you know, let them know that, hey, it doesn't matter where you're ranked, not necessarily in basketball, but in your life. I mean, but you can, you can improve that. If you believe in yourself and believe in the true friends and the true people that are around you, that uh, you can improve that and you can become, you can become great. Great as in a great person, great as in a winner in your life.